Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a quick tutorial on how to save you guys' SHSH blobs for any of you guys' iDevice in a quick and easy way. This is an update from my last Telegram video that I have shown you in the past, and I've figured out a couple more things in regards to that video that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. And if you guys have not seen that video, I'm going to go ahead and make just a complete update video with this one right here. So with that being said, let's get straight into this video. Alright, so the first thing I do want you guys to do is you guys will need to download Telegram from the App Store. So go ahead and go onto the App Store. Let me go ahead and show you guys my screen right here. Now you guys want to go ahead and go to the App Store and then search up Telegram and then go ahead and download the Telegram Messenger application. I'll go ahead and link it inside of the description. I will go ahead and link it inside of the description as well so you guys can go ahead and have an ease of access into downloading this application. After that, go ahead and sign up for it into your guys' phone number and you guys should be good to go and you guys will be able to open up the application just by itself. So once you guys have that, you guys can go ahead and click on the second link that is inside of the description and you guys will be brought up to this page right here and you guys will have the telegram invitation sort of thing in order for you guys to get the jailbreak bot inside of the telegram application itself so from here you just go in and click on the green button then click on open and then once you guys click on open this is basically what i have done already for my last shsh blobs in the past but anyways once you guys have that you will see something similar to this but it'll be empty so once you guys have that i just want to show you guys how to use it so like I just went, you just can go ahead and go back into your chats and you guys will see the jailbreak bot already there unless you guys are already messaging people and then you guys will see all that other shenanigans here as well. So once you guys are here, go ahead and click on the jailbreak bot and just ignore everything you see right here. This is basically just for all my other devices. Now from here, what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on the little forward slash that was right next to the keyboard and you guys will see a pop up for slash SHSH for saving SHSH blobs, getting IPSW links, identifying a device seeing if a jailbreak is available and other commands that this bot has offered you so the next thing I do want to show you guys is how to save the SHSH blobs itself and then retrieve it in the future so for here for example you guys want to go ahead and click on SHSH and then it's going to ask you to either save a new SHSH blob for a new device if you guys are using this for the first time so as you guys can see I have a ton of other devices that I already have spared and I am saving SHSH blobs for so from here you guys can want to go ahead and click on save new and then you guys will get a little pop up at the bottom and it's going to show you guys a list of different kinds of devices that you guys can use and save SHSH blobs for ranging from the iPhone 2G, iPads as well as iPod touches as well and iPhones and Apple TVs. So for example let's just go ahead and say I'm going to save a for an iPhone 6. I'm going to click that have it load up and it's going to ask you which iOS version you want to save SHSH blobs for. So as of making this video and I am regarding this for the next jailbreak that is going to be releasing very soon by Coolstar with 11.3.1, not 11.4. All jailbreaks right now are going to be up to 11.3.1 for right now. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and save it for 11.3.1. You're going to click on that and then it's going to ask you, hey, I need you to send the ECID of your device. So for example, this is basically a fingerprint for your guys' device. And if you guys do not know what an ECID is, you guys will need to have your guys' device connected to a computer with iTunes in order for you guys to fetch the ECID so you can put it onto this jailbreak bot. So how to get that, go ahead and go into iTunes on your guys' computer, right? And then you guys want to click on your guys' phone and then right here right where it says iPhone 10 or whichever iDevice you guys have click on serial number twice so it's gonna say serial number then UDID and then ECID so here is the ECID you guys can go to go ahead and copy that and just save it somewhere for you guys uh, to use in the future so I do recommend you guys keeping the telegram app so it does not forget your ECID so from here copy down this ECID and then go back to telegram and then enter it right here so for example I'm gonna go ahead and press cancel right here so I can show you guys what happens next so I'm gonna go ahead and just save it for my iPhone 10 for example right now I'm just gonna double check and also save it again so I'm gonna click on my iPhone 10 this is what happens when you guys already save your SHSH blobs in the past so click on iPhone 10 or whichever iDevice you guys have and then it will show the list of iOS versions you guys can save SHSH blobs for so for example for my iPhone 10 I'm gonna save it for 11.3.1 click on it 
and wait for it to load it's gonna send the file to the server and then it's gonna say hey here's your shsh blob 2 file and if you guys want you can go and click on verify and you guys will see that there's a hyperlink that allows you to download the shsh blob right here so from here you guys are gonna go ahead and either copy it or send it to yourself on a PC and then you guys can save the shsh blob from there to use in future restore or Prometheus as you guys can see it will show that the file is valid if it does not show it's valid then it is a corrupted SHSH blob. I do recommend you guys doing this a couple times. Now that's basically it for saving SHSH blobs. Now I'm going to show you guys how to fetch it in the future. So for example, if we are on iOS 12 and you guys want to downgrade back to iOS 11.3.1 to jailbreak again and downgrade, this is what you guys can do. So where has the forward slash little icon right here? Click on that and then you guys want to type in my SHSH and then press send. And then it's going to fetch where you guys save SHSH blobs for. So for example, I'm going to do my iPhone 10 and then click on it and then have it load. And you guys will get a couple links for every single SHSH blob you saved for your specific iPhone or iDevice that you guys have. So for example, right here, I have a list of other SHSH blobs from iOS 11.2 all the way to 11.4. So same exact preference. You guys want to go ahead and just hold on to the link, copy it and send it to yourself on a computer or email it to yourself whichever way is faster for you guys and that's basically it for this video guys I just wanted to show you guys how to save your guys' SHSH blobs and then retrieve it in the future because I did not actually cover that in uh, the last video so this is a quick and easy way for you guys to save SHSH blobs now I just wanted to tell you guys again that once you guys are saving SHSH blobs in the future you guys will see a list of all your guys' iDevices that you may want to save SHSH blobs for the bad thing about this is you can't rename the specific iDevice but you can only see the ECID as well as the iDevice type that you guys have so maybe if a developer is watching this video right now for the jailbreak bot I would really really like to see in a future update for the jailbreak bot to allow you to edit the name so you know which device you have but basically that's it for this video guys if you guys like this video go ahead and leave a like down below also subscribe to get videos just like this in the future as well as a lot more videos in regards to the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak and other jailbreaks in the future tomorrow as of making this this video will be WWDC 2018 and I am super excited to share some content with you guys about that as well. Don't forget to also follow me on my Twitter and Facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and to stay up to date on what's been going on inside of the jailbreak world. So with that being said guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks signing out.